steady to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shone profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. Second Timothy chapter two, fifteen to sixteen. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okank. I believe that you are here with me to share the word of God. Can you share and like? I invite you all here. I invite you all here. I invite you all here. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Make a time with the Lord. Make a time with the Lord. Make a time with the Lord. Da, 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 da. Please kindly like and share. Can you like and share? Yes, 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 yes. Mm. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Jesus. Mm. 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 Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory be unto God. Praise be unto the Lord. Praise be unto the Lord. Like and share, like and share. Like and share, like and share. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise be unto our most high God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me see your comments. Tonight is another night. Tonight is another night. As we all know, today is Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. Yes. Mm. Our God is God. There's no other God like him. Jesus. He is God. He is God. He is God. He is God. Mm. He still remains God. Nothing changes about him. He still remains the God that we know. Yes. He still remains the God that we know. Mm. Yes. Praise the Lord. He still remains the Lord that we know. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Mm. Oh my God. Invite a friend, invite a friend. Tell a friend to tell another friend that Apostle Emmanuel Bokang is here. Mm. Yes. Praise be unto his name. Praise be unto his name. Invite a friend. Invite a friend. Invite a friend. Share. Share. Share the video. Share it. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Share it. Please kindly share it. And tell a friend to join. Tell a friend to join. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yesterday, yesterday we were having teachings uh, about 
a particular topic, and I believe that we will finish today. I want you to bow down your heads. Let's pray. Father, Lord Jesus Christ, we bless your name. We worship you. We say you are God, Lord. Father, we come before you. Let tonight the word that your servant is bringing should be a blessing in the life of your children. Let there be a transformation. Let there be a truth in their life. Father, bring them from out of um, ignorance and let them walk uprightly in your day. Through your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Please kindly share. Share. I want you to share. Invite a friend. Okay. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okank from Ghana, founder of the Mind of the Lord Ministries. And as we all know, the Lord has given us the mandate, the, the position to preach the gospel and to teach. And in my session, we, we are here to teach. Yesterday, the Lord made me have the teachings about the skills, skills, skills that falls from the eyes of Saul when Ananias read for him. And I believe that yesterday we learned a lot. Yesterday we learned a lot. And today is going to be the part two. Today is going to be the part two to, to learn. So invite a friend, tell a friend, to tell another friend that they should join, okay? Tell a friend to tell another friend that they should join. They should join, okay? God bless you. God bless you. Okay, Janice Gray, Washington, D.C. And God bless you, man of God, and your family and your friends. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Evangelist Atia, God bless you. Minister Kovel Richard, God bless you. God bless you for making it with the Lord. Amen. Yes. Yesterday, yesterday, I made a teachings on skills falls from the eyes. And I made certain emphasis. What is the meaning of the skills? The meaning of the skills and the, the, the kind of skills, the kind of skills. And I told you that we have two types of skills. We have the skills that is this, that is the balance. You can see it on the screen. That is the balance. That is the instrument for measurement or instrument for measuring weight. Hallelujah. And I told you that they have skills. That skills of, uh, that, that's the fish skills. You can see the fish skills. You see? And we have the um, skills of uh, um, crocodile or leviathan. And we, I explained further that we have in the Bible perspective, we have three different kind of skills. We have the the Hebrew word, the Hebrew word that is number one called Kashmir sites. That is the fish skills. And the second one is the Mekinam. That is the skills of the crocodile. And this is the skills of what? The crocodile. It's called the Mekinam in the Hebrew word. And I told you that the fish skills, that is it. Um, uh, Keshki said, yes, but, but when you come to the New Testament, when you come to the New Testament, we, we have the New Testament uh, skills that is called lepis, with the verb lepizo, means skills away. And I says that lepis is, 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 is uh, the Greek word for skills in the New Testament. And, and there's the piece also in the English word or in the English um, meaning, it is called, it, it can be called fish skills or uh, skills of snake, like this on, on the screen. We can see the uh, image. Yes. And I said that the, the, 
the skills that was on uh, Paul's eyes was not identified very well until the Greek word that is the lepis. So in the lepis, it, it has the English word skills of snake or fish scale. So we can say that this of the skills was on the eyes of Saul or this some of the skills like this was on the eyes of what Saul. Hallelujah. So I believe you understand. If you want to know more, uh, God bless you, Apostle Terra. If you want to know more, you can visit my first message that is uh, skills falling from the eyes. You can you can visit it and you attach it to this um, second one that is the part two. God bless you, viewers. I salute you and I respect you. I love you all for making time with the Lord. You come here not because of me, but you come here for you to be transformed, for you to be transformed uh, through the word of God. And this program is from uh, Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday and Saturday as well. And the, the, the program is called Study to Show Thyself Approved. We can, we can see that in a year. And that the mind of the Lord Ministries presented is the mind. God, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, amen, amen. I want you to type in your comment bar, I want you to type, I am here to study, I am here to what? To study, I am here to study. I want you to type, I am here to study, Apostle, I am here to study, before we continue, before we continue, laser, there, 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 there. Before we continue, I want you to type, I am here to study. I am here to study. I am here to study. Oh my God. I am here to study. I am here to study. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, Apostle. I am here to study. I am here to study. Okay. I am here to study. God bless you. Now, let's move on. Let's take our Bible to... Acts chapter 9, verse 18. Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9, verse 18. Now, Acts chapter 9, God bless you and Rita, I'm here to study. Toria, God bless you, I am here to study. Now, praise the Lord. Acts 9, verse 18, the Bible says that, and immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been skills. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been skills. So, from, from the Bible perspective, the Bible then understood that when Paul became blind in Acts chapter 9, verse 8, and his eyes was, were, were opened, but he couldn't see those people were, were with him, but he can hear their voice. He can hear their voice. The Bible says that they took him to a place, hallelujah, to live there. And the Lord spoke to one of the disciples called Ananias to pray for Paul. And he, he, immediately Ananias went and prayed for him. That fell off from his eyes as scales. Now, I, says that, I said that scales falling from the eyes means to know the truth. As I said yesterday, is what? To know the what the truth about something, something that has been hidden from you, to know the truth about it. Now, this means that 
the theme, the theme upon Saul's eyes was comparable to the skills of a fish. Hallelujah. And else that it fell off us. Listen, no, as skills might fall. Listen, no, as skills might fall. As skills might fall. So the film upon Saul's eyes was comparable to the skills of the fish, or else that it fell off as skills might fall. When the blinding film was gone, when the blinding film was gone, light broke into the darkness of Saul. In different men, in different men, sin manifest its chef power in the different parts of their nature. Do you understand? So, in the case of many sin, it's most apparent in their eyes. In case of many sins, it's apparent in their eyes. You see, it is something that you perceive with your eyes. And that cause to sin. Okay. So that is to say, ignorance. That is to say, ignorance. That is to say, error and prejudice have injured the, 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 their mental what? sight. Hallelujah. Some have withheld hand of conscious inability. Others have the deaf year of of, of hear the joyful sound and display much what energy but they hear without what understanding they hear without understanding and are zealous without what knowledge hallelujah so for that they are blind for that what they are blind and so this was Saul's condition this was Saul's what condition he was throughout honest we, we might say of his heart when it was at 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 his is at his door which it was west mm, until he made the true conviction that the light hallelujah he was he was a he was no deceiver and no time server he went into to I mean to believe in the right way you understand he thought he was believing in the right way but not knowing he was missing praise the Lord when he perceived that Jesus was and after all the Messiah this man became earnest what a follower of Christ and for he had been what a persecutor and this is what we need to know here that we are here to what to study to study my name is apostle a man of all time the skills has fallen from the eyes that is act chapter 9 verse 18 this part 2 like and share and comment support God's by two real money transfer remit zilip and web remit whatsapp me also plus two three three two zero two eight one zero zero three for counseling and prayers okay now we will we will still talk about the skills falling from men's eyes. Have you experienced something that is being hidden in your life? And when you get to know the truth, how do you react? Do you understand? So I want to address those who would be, be right if they knew how and those who are endless but in the wrong uh, direction, for they do not see the truth. They do not see the truth. If the Lord in his infinite mercy will but touch those sightless eyeballs and remove the film so that they discern the, the right way, they will follow it at once. Hallelujah. So may the Lord remove many skills while we are proceeding 
first number one we will speak of the skills which i've already explained in the part two that fell from the eyes of of, of men to perceive because they are inside shadow because they are inside shadow what makes these skills comes to the outside so that men do what perceive about them hallelujah now what, what instrumentality what instrumentality the lord used to take outside skills away what instrumentality the lord use, uses to take this outside skill away first then there are skills which men do not perceive hallelujah there are skills which men do not what perceive saul had skills upon his eyes do you understand when he was on the road to damascus as i said yesterday but if you had look at his face if you had look at his face he would have appeared to have a bright on a, a, a bright an eye as any man because skills on his eyes skills on his eyes why why he was sharp sighted philosopher he was what sharp sighted let me say he was sharp sighted philosopher and as i said yesterday a pharisee also and a teacher of others praise the lord he would not have believed you for a minute if you have to say to him so you are blind he wouldn't have believed yet blind he was you understand for his eyes were shut up with his side skills and i said yesterday he, he experienced spiritual blindness he experienced spiritual blindness so his eyes were shut up with inside inside what skills the worst sort of skills that can possibly cloud the sight. So, believers, listeners, as we are enjoying the word of God, Saul had the skills of self to, to darken his eyes. Hallelujah. He had a great idea of, of Saul of Tarsus. If he had written down his own character you see he would have begun it a hebrew of the hebrews as touching the law of god a pharisee and then he would have gone on to fill the countless good works you see and fast and pray and have finished with what he need to do concerning how zeal he has persecuting the church so he was far too great in his own estimation to become a disciple of what jesus christ but hear me church you see how could the rabbi who sat at the feet of gamalia you see or a uh, gamali become a follower of the despised Galilean. Do you understand? So poor present or a, a, a poor peasant might follow the man of Nazareth, but doctor, I call him doctor Saul, doctor Saul, Tassos, a man who who was educated both in, in the knowledge of the Hebrew literature good and educated in the hebrew literature and the greek philosopher you see it was not likely that he would, he, he would mingle with fishermen and, and peasant in adoring 
the Nazarene. You understand? This is the reason why a great many people cannot see the beauties, the beauties of Christ and cannot come to him. You understand? Cannot come to him that they might have life because they feel that they are great philosophers, they are great doctors, they are great lawyers. So why must I follow this man, this Nazarene, this capital son? And we 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 we, we know the, the attitude, the character of the Pharisees. I want to make time to teach the character about the Pharisees and how the character of Pharisees affect the body of Christ and the church earlier and today. Praise the Lord. You see? So these people, they, 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 they become boss to themselves. You see? They are so great in their own what? Esteem. Ha! Jesus. Do you get it? My Lord. You see? It might have been, it, it, it might have a good thing to, 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 be, to be great to yourself, but without Jesus, nothing that you can do on it that you do to see. So, they, 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 they themselves, as a Pharisees, as Saul saw himself, that is one, number one, he couldn't perceive. He couldn't perceive. That's why I say that there are skills which men do not perceive. You see? So Saul did not perceive to know who Jesus Christ was. So inside there was uh, there was inside skills. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you will say that uh, um, I'll, I'll, I'll must I for for the great Messiah, you see, eh? how much I for uh, before this Messiah? So when Jesus appeared to him in the form of light, he said, "Who are thou, Lord?" He knew it. He knew that it is the Lord. He knew what he's doing, just because of who physically he think is, and this. Is a problem in the church of today. They find themselves in the position as they are, who they are, much masters, uh, I mean, uh, 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 masters of qualification in theology, kind of certificate they have, degrees and diploma, and just name the, 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 the qualifications. You see? So they see themselves in, in as much that, look, they, they are not to follow this, this Jesus Christ. You see? Amen. Everyone knows who is the Lord and the mention of the name. Okay, every Sabbath. Thank you. And this is what we are, it is going to, we are going through. Presidents, senators, businessmen, entrepreneurs, those don't know Jesus Christ. They feel that where they are in their office or who they are, they are okay. You see, they, they, they have heard about Jesus, but to follow him, to believe in him, to have faith in him, is a problem. You see, now, another skill on Saul's inner eyes was ignorance. Another skill of Saul's inner eyes was what? Ignorance. Ignorance. And as it has become another skill on Saul's inner eyes, which was ignorance, and he learned ignorance too, which is by far the worst kind of ignorance. So yesterday, I said, I quoted a verse in First Timothy. First 
Timothy chapter 1 verse 13 he says to Timothy that who was before who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious but I obtain mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. I did it ignorantly in what? Unbelief. If you check the Amplified Version, it says that though I, though I formerly blasphemed and persecuted and was shamefully and outrageously and aggressively insulting to him, insult to him. If you read the Amplified Version, it, it gives us a lot of, I mean, explanation. Atrigiously, uh, and aggressively insulting to him. Nevertheless, I obtain mercy. I obtain mercy because I acted out of ignorance in unbelief in unbelief in unbelief hallelujah in what unbelief so Saul knew everything but what he ought to have known he was instructed in all other sorts of learning but he did not know Christ but he did not know what Christ he had never studied the law claim and character he had picked up the populist rumors he, 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 he had taught them to be telling truth you see ah you get it he had he, he had telling to be taught of the truth you see and he had known he had known oh seriously Poor soul, poor, poor soul. Do you understand? He and Saul also knew, knew that Jesus Christ of Nazareth really was a Christ. But as I, I said earlier on, he had never made his mind to search deeper who Jesus Christ was. That's what the Bible says that study to show thyself approved unto God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So he would never have howled men and women into prison. But the scales of ignorance, the scales of ignorance was over his eyes in what we call this enlightened. We call this what? Enlightened. In the 19th century, who knew a great deal about thousand things? But nothing about the one thing necessary. They have never uh, they have never troubled to study Christ. You see, they have never troubled to study Christ and so for 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 lack of knowledge, for lack of knowledge, they grope about as the blind. You understand? So with ignorance generally goes another word skill namely prejudice 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 you see so the man who knows nothing about truth is unusually the man who despises it most hallelujah so he, he, he does not know and does not want to know he does not know and he does not want what to know. Don't tell me. Don't tell. I don't want to hear. He says, don't tell me. I don't want to hear anything. He has nothing but a snare for you when you have told the truth of God to the best of your ability. The man has no candle. The man has no candle. He has made up what? His mind. You see? 
and he, he has made up his mind beside his father before him was not of your um, religion and that's what he think of praise the lord i don't want to go far i just want to take it little by little now another one is that Saul souls Saul soul was was also darkened by the scale of unbelief according to first timothy according to first Timothy chapter one verse 13. Saul souls was darkened by the scale of what unbelief unbelief Saul had been a persecutor and Saul had seen Stephen die. If he saw the metrics heavily paces, he must have noticed the wondrous peace which sat upon his countenance when he fell asleep amid a shower of stone. You see, a, a shower of stone. But Saul did not believe. Saul did not believe because of what the skill so it was unbelief as he stated in first timothy chapter 1 verse 13. praise the lord though no sermon though no sermon is like the sight of the metrodom yet saul was not convinced perhaps listen though perhaps he had heard about the savior more than he he, he cared to, to remember but he did not believe it he did not what believe it he counted the things remote concerning him to be idle tales or a cast them under under his feet so oh, brothers and sisters what multitudes have been ruined by this crew of belief towards Christ but what I mean multitude have been ruined by their crew unbelief towards Christ some of you some of you are like that to whom I have been addressing for so many years are believers in the head you see, but unbelievers in the heart, not really putting your trust in Jesus, who can see if he refuses the light of God? Who can see? Who shall find salvation? Who shall find salvation? Who shall find salvation if he will not trust the Savior for it? Unbelief, unbelief is a sure to destroy those who are guilty of it as faith is sure to save unbelievers. Hallelujah. Unbelief is a sure to destroy those who are guilty of it as faith is sure to save believers. Praise the Lord. Then the scale of habit too had formed over Saul's inner eyes. For he had been for a long time what he then was. Can the Ethiopian change his king? Or uh, the leopard his spot? When I talk of leopard, you understand. Can the leopard change his spot? Or can uh, let me say that an Ethiopian changed his skin. Do you understand? If so, then he that is accustomed to, to, to do evil may learn to do well. They say that they say that use is second nature when the first nature is bad 
the second nature is like the first only it goes further in wrong so dear dear friends some of you have been accustomed to refuse the gospel some customs to follow after the pleasures and the vices of the world that it does not seem possible that you you should follow after what christ hallelujah habit of secret sin habit of secret sin are peculiarly blinding to the soul jesus habit of secret sin are peculiarly blinding to the soul may this kill be speedily made to fall in the name of jesus christ another scale is worldliness worldliness another skill is worldliness and saul had that upon his inner eyes as i explained for he loved the praise of men that's how the pharisees are he does how the pharisees are he lies what to be praised by men he had his reputations to maintain for he had profited uh, profited beyond most of his brothers and was uh, reckoned to be to, to be uh, a most hopeful and i mean a uh, raising teacher of israel it was not likely that saul would believe in jesus christ for then he would have to lose the esteem of his countrymen. Do you get it? Do you get it? So the fear of man and the love of man's applause, how they prevent men from seeing the truth about Jesus and recognizing him as the son of God. How can you believe? How can you believe when you receive Save uh, when you see honor. You see, when you see honor, one of an, uh, another from other men. Believers, this is serious. This is serious. People in the church love to be praised by men than God, and this, that is one of the characters. Of Pharisees. If you study the life of Saul before he got to know Christ, really tells you how the Pharisees are. You understand? So let me ask you: How can men bow themselves before Jesus Christ? Before Jesus Christ, when? All the while, they are abiding high for the homage of their fellow sinners. If you read the Acts chapter 9, verse 1, Paul took the letter from the high priest, and the, the high priest, according to be the religious, he says that is is Clopia, King Clopia. Yes. And Paul want to be praised by the high priest and by the men. And this is what is happening in the church. You want your pastor to praise you. If you're Elsha, you want you be praised by your pastor. If you're a singer, you want to be praised by the uh, by, 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 by the uh, 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 pastor or by the head pastor. If you're an accountant, you want to be praised. Anything, any little thing you do in the church, you want to be praised. But you don't wait praise from God. You don't wait for God to honor you. Wait for God to honor you. Anything that you do in the vineyard of God. So, <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The, 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 the love of adulation, the love of adulation, which is a form of worldliness, blinds the eyes and so will any other love 
of things benefit the moon. Let but the heart be set upon this blinding world, and there will be little sight for things divine. You understand? So this is another significant significance of skills on soul's eye. I talked about the character. I talked about the ignorance. I talked about the worldliness. Let me move on. Now, these skills were upon the inside of soul's eyes when it was on the way to Damascus. But now we have noticed them brought to the outside. Brought what? To the outside. Now listen. Those outside skills revealed in type and figure what had always been the matter with Saul. They were the material index of the spiritual mischief under which he had long labored. Hallelujah. Only, only, only now they were brought outside so that he knew they were there. Paul saw knew they were there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus. And others could perceive that they were there. Now there was hope that they would be removed from what? The eyes. Hallelujah. Now that he was conscious of them, the devil was half cured. The devil was half cured. What brought those scales to the outside and made Saul know that he was blind? Well, first, it was exceeding uh, it was exceeding glory of Christ. He says about a noon, suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round about me and he had it and he had i could not see for the glory of the light hallelujah let my lord jesus christ only manifest himself to any of you and you'll be well enough aware of the blindness and you will say to yourself what a strangely blind be I must have been not to have loved such beauty as this. Do you understand? Not to have what yielded myself to such grace as this. Not to have trusted myself to so complete a savior as this. Do you understand? Oh, the glory of Christ. The glory of Christ, the glory of Christ, it has even laid the saint prostrate when they have seen it. Those who dwell nearest to their Lord, to their God, to Jesus Christ, to the glory of Christ, are frequently overcome with the hidden brightness of his, of his glory and have to confess with those favorite three. When the ecstasy sublime, Tabor's glory steep, we climb. At the two transporting light, darkness rushes over our side. And this is what happened. So, with the sinner, with the sinner, when he gets his first view of a glorious Christ, you see, the inrush. The inrush of the glory makes is 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 mourn. Make, uh, makes him mourn. Sorry, makes him mourn his native blindness. He perceived that he had no perception and knows that he has nothing knowing. So another thing which made the skills pass to the outside of Saul's eyes was the 
unanswerable question was what the unanswerable question because jesus christ asked him why do you persecute me in act chapter 9 in act chapter 9 act chapter 9 act chapter 9 verse 4 act chapter 9 verse 4 it says that and he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecuted that me? It was a question that Jesus Christ asked him, but there was no answer. But listen to what Paul said. He said, and the Bible said, and he said, Who are that Lord? The Lord asked him a question. He also answered the Lord with a question answer and asking but this is what the lord said and the lord said i am jesus the lord answered saul telling him i am jesus but saul did not answer jesus when jesus said why persecuted that me praise the lord the lord answered him i am jesus whom that persecutes it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks you see the Lord answered Jesus, but uh, 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 sorry, the Lord Jesus answered Saul, but Saul did not answer Jesus when Jesus asked him, Saul, Saul, why persecuted that uh, me? You see, praise the Lord. So that brought home to him a sense of his sin. That brought him home. To him a sense of his sins why why that was why why for which Saul of Tarsus could not find because 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 when he discovered that the man of Nazareth was the glorious Christ of God then indeed he was confounded. He was confounded. He could make no reply to the demand. Why do you persecute me? Or why persecuted that me? Do you understand? Oh, that the Lord would fix such a why? Why? In some of your hearts, in some of our hearts, in some of your heart, in some of my heart, in some of, of people's heart, why should you live in sin, Jesus? Why? Because Jesus, said, Jesus Christ said, Saul, Saul, why persecuted that me? And the question to Saul means, why should you live in sin? Why are you choosing the wages of unrighteousness? Why are you hardening your heart against the gospel? Why are you radic uh, radicalizing it? Why do you snare at the servant of God if the Holy Spirit drives that? Why? 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 If the Holy Spirit drives that why to your heart, you will begin to say, what a blind fool I am to, to, to have acted as I have done. To go kicking against the bricks. To go kicking against the bricks. Monday, I'll make a teachings about Kicking against the bricks. Monday, I'll make a teaching about kicking against the bricks in Acts chapter 9, verse 4 to 5. And I'll explain it deeply to you how it relates to our Christian life. Okay. You see? So, this is the meaning of why Jesus Christ. So, 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 so. Why persecuted that mean? And the why here. And the why here 
is so big that we need to ask ourselves a question. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me fix my my, my charger. Let me fix my charger. Do you understand? So, friends, believers, what a blind fool. Sometimes the, the, the unbelievers and the sinners, they are and they acted this. What a blind fool I am to have acted as I have done. To go kick in against the priests, fighting against my best friend. That's what Paul, that's what the Bible means. Fighting against my best friend and pouring scorn on those whom I ought most of all to admire. The why from the lips of Christ will show you your blindness the why from the lips of christ will show you your blindness the skills were on the outside of saul's eyes now because his soul had been cast into a terrible be a uh, bewilderment where had of him that when his eyes were open, he saw no man but trembling and astonished. If you read the Bible, he saw no man trembling and astonished. You see, he asked the Lord, What must I do? Some of us know what that experience means. Some of us know what that experience means. We have been brought under the hand of God till we have been ultimately astonished, astonished, astonished at our Savior, Jesus. He, 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 he asked the Lord, what must he do? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We become so astonished at our Savior, astonished at our sins, astonished that there should be a hope remaining for us, astonished that they should, they should have rejected that hope so long. With, with this amazement, there was mixed trembling, least after all. The, the, the mercy should be too great great for us and the, the next word the next word from the Lord would be you have killed you have killed against the brick so long against the brick so long you see henceforth the gate of mercy are shut against us the gate of mercies are shut against you. The gate, the gate of mercies are shut against them. But may the Lord, may the Lord, may the Lord fill some of you with trembling and astonishment. And if it does, then you will perceive the blindness of your soul and cry for the light. This evening, if you are going to open it, mouth and go on your knees and cry for the light cry for the light cry for the light not to kick against the prick you'll be free i have no doubt the skills became all the more perceptible to poor soul when 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 it came to those three days, three days, three days, and ninth of what prayers, 
For when you, you, you get a man on his knees and he begins crying for mercy, oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Crying for mercy, crying for mercy. Man was on his knee, praying, fasting, no food, no water. And he's crying for mercy. That is why in First Timothy chapter one, he said that I or I obtain mercy from the Lord. He was on his knee. He obtained mercy from the Lord. He, he, he is in the way of being more fully taught his need of it. If relief does not come at once, listen, Lord. If relief does not come at once, then the, 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 the penitent, then the penitent cries more and more intensely in his heart in his mind all the while is aching more is crying more and more and he perceives how blind he must have been to bring himself into such a condition because the best friend of him that is jesus christ he was killing his own brothers is killing his own brethren. If Saul should have killed Peter, should have killed Philip, James, how can Paul move? Although Jesus Christ will be with him, but the gospel will have its own way. Believers, we need to take out the skills. The inner skills is the blindness, is the spiritual blindness. But not knowing the gospel about Jesus Christ, but not knowing the lights, but not knowing the truths, ignorantly, you do what you are doing, living in the world. You understand? Live, be what in the world, believers, believers. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. May, may, may God bring many of you to agonizing prayer because Paul was pleading. It is, it, it is a good thing sometimes when the Lord keeps a man in prayer, pleading for the messes, pleading, 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 and pleading, and pleading, and pleading, on and on and on and on and on, until he perceives how great his need of that mercy is. When he has Bitterly felt the, the darkness of his soul, he would be exceedingly bold. Like a he would be exceedingly bold in hearing and bearing the light to his fellow brothers, his fellow men. If I be a man of God, I pray for you this evening. May God, may Jesus Christ bring many of you to agonizing prayer. And if that prayer should last days and nights, and you should neither eat or drink for anguish or spirit, I guarantee you that you will truly learn your blindness and the skills upon your eyes will be painfully evident to you. Believers, I will end it here. I will end it here. I am not done with this topic. Tomorrow is Sunday. Yes. I'm not supposed to be on Facebook Live. But tomorrow, I'll continue 
where I just end. So that the scales will fall totally from our sight. May God bless you. And may God keep you. May his countenance shine upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Tomorrow, I'm going to teach about the, 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 the instrumentality or what instrumentality did the Lord use to take the skills away? What instrumentality the Lord used to take the skills away? Tomorrow, join me Sunday, same time here, and you be a bless to your generation. Study to show thyself approved. Study to show thyself approved. My name is Apostle Emmanuel. Ready to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shone profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. Second Timothy chapter two, fifteen to sixteen. So you see. Study to show thyself approved. This is the program that will be coming on the way every day. Tomorrow, meet me. Tomorrow, I'm not supposed to come. I need to rest. But tomorrow, I need to finish this. And Monday, I'll bring another topic. Join me every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. At a time, 12 o'clock GMT. That will be 7 p.m. in your time. Those in America or 8 p.m. Or 6 p.m. Hallelujah. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okan. God bless you and God keep you. May His countenance shine upon you. Support God's work. So a seed to support God's work. I really need help to push the work of God. I need a PA system. I need a lot of things. Whatever that you have, you can support through Zilli Pay. Real money transfer, uh, remitly, web remit, or cash app. Contact me on my Facebook Messenger, and I'll respond to you quickly. If you need prayers, uh, counseling, I mean, studying of the Bible, contact me, and through the Holy Spirit, I'll help you. Let's pray. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ upon your life. As you have listened to the word, may you perceive and know the truth. May the skills, may the inner skills be taken and may the outer skills fall from your eyes. And may you know the truth in the name of Jesus. And may you be a man of prayer, a woman of prayer, day and night, three days, even without eating. May God bless you and God keep you. May the Lord protect you and see you tomorrow after church. Tomorrow, try to go to church. If there's a COVID still going on, moving around, that are 19 days, Connect yourself to some men of God on Facebook and listen to them. Or go back to my uh, messages on Facebook and YouTube and replay them. Replay them. If something that I said that you don't understand, replay it. God bless you and God keep you. See you tomorrow, Sunday, same time here, 12 o'clock a.m. in my time, GMT. Peace. Shalom.